Hey, how's it going everyone? Just wanted to do a quick video, doing a commentary on a video that Dearth just posted. Uh, our good friend Dearth, uh, the Flat Earth Capitalist, part of the Flat Earth Capitalist crew, making money off of truth, which is satanic. Um, he just posted a video called the face mask pandemic and said something so stupid, <laughs> like of all the dumb things that he said, this one is just epic. And um, so I just had to, you know, fire up the recorder and then uh, just uh, roast him basically. Uh, let's play it. It's only three, three minutes, 54 seconds. So the title is the face mask pandemic and I'll put the link below um, for you to laugh at as well. You know, they're, they've, they've uh, divide and separate is, you know, the game, name of the game. They've done that, everything from politics to sports teams to race and... They is God. We know that now. These people will never acknowledge that because their job is to take God out. And then once God's taken out, what you have is money because um, biggest competition to God is money. And, um, you know, they... They can't talk about that either. And so that to me is really why I know that these people are very likely on God's left hand side, because if you take God out, that's one thing. And then you don't discuss money either, which is the foundation of this system that Satan, um, the, the ruler of this world, um, controls, then, um, you know, uh, temporarily <clears throat> under God's supervision, then, um, you know, then you're uh, gatekeeping, you know, for Satan. And so these people, their job is to take God out of it and then also not to discuss money, you know, and, and finances and then an equitable distribution of it. Gender, they divided the genders. Then they have us six feet apart. Then they have us not touching. Now the face mask. Think about uh, a young baby, a child looking at its parents. I was, I'm watching these parents with these little kids. The kids aren't bonding with, with the parents. And think of it, remember when it, it could have happened at any time in your life, but especially when you were a kid, and it even happens when you're an adult, you're having the worst day ever. Um, I, I remember some specific times where I just was literally ready to kill myself as a teenager, and some girl or some person randomly smiles at you and changes your whole day. Right? So, <laughs> this is like hilarious. This is like really the same thing that we get from the Christian church, um, the, you know, the 501c3 pastors, pastors. They'll turn the Bible into just like story time, you know, just and their own stories, not the stories in the Bible and the historical stories um, and lessons and uh, prophecy. And it's just so he was a suicidal and then like somebody smiled and then, you know, <laughs> it kept him alive. Um, so he's just playing a bunch of videos with like people wearing masks and stuff. This is very, very late stage. You know, I hope people know this. This mask thing is like not even the cherry on top. It's like nothing, you know, it's just very cosmetic, literally, you know, having to wear it. And it's obviously, you know, a form of mockery and not healthy, of course, but, um, it's like way at the end. And so he's talking about how he's going to go on to say that, this thing is bigger than everything and all the mass thing is like, you know, restricting bonding between people and can't see their face and all that kind of stuff. There are bigger issues, you know, that are leading to, uh, you know, the destruction of the family. Um, first and foremost, God is taken out of everything, you know, and I want people to know it's obvious to people who come by here. These people are doing it. You know, they're not they're not allowed to talk about God, you know, in any kind of serious way and and money, you know, the financial system that's got us here and then allowed the governments to exert whatever kind of influence they want, you know, um, you know, under God's supervision. And so they will never acknowledge that, you know, and so I just um, want people to know they're obviously limited scripters, but limited scripting is one thing if you're on a limited script and the things that you say are intelligent, but this is just getting stupid, <laughs> you know, like this is just literally, and this is a flat earther who, claims to know that the shape of the earth has been hidden for to the entire world, you know, and just that alone, forget about the mass thing, there's a tremendous amount of evil to accomplish that and then all the other things, you know, the list goes on. Yeah, so when we're walking fire. down a busy street, walking through crowds of people, there without without talking, you're seeing all of those faces. You're processing all this information. You are ad adding to the the conscious field, the 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 you know the thought matrix that creates this world, 
and and all of these connections are happening all of this energy is being exchanged that you aren't even consciously aware of and they have taken that away they are weakening us spiritually um our connections like that i mean you have to think of it like a big web so i want people to know when he's talking about a thought matrix and connecting us and all that kind of stuff he's using language that lets us know that he's on God's left hand side. And even people like Tom Parker and Good Servant, when you hear them talk, they always say we're one, you know, we're one, you know, we're all same team. And they always use Mark Sargent, all that will use hashtag same team when he mirrors other people's flat earth videos and stuff. They're on God's left hand side. You know, I want people to know that I say this confidently. This is not language at all that anybody on God's right hand side would use, like not even close. This is just crazy um thought matrix um they're weakening our spirituality we're not um people on god's left hand left hand side are one you know in and but the people on god's right hand side and i hope to be one of them we're one with christ and so um we're supposed to hate this world you know and again the bible teaches that this is hell and i'll put that video the link below so we want separation from this world we don't want this world to continue and so i want people to know if it's not obvious their job, Dearth and Jaren and all these people, is to keep this thing going. And then my job and others around the world who are crying out for Christ's return, our job is to um, have this world discontinue, you know, with the leadership that's in place, and then for Christ to be the leader. And so there's two competing options, and everybody's free to pick whichever one they want. But um, what they're doing here is they're essentially lobbying for this thing, this place to continue web of energy and the more interactions that we have and the more moving around the more energy there is like if everyone stayed home and nobody went out it would the world would die okay but we're out and we are losing this interpersonal so it's all it's still subtle and it's kind of the same thing when kobe passed away passed away they were like oh he made everything competitive you know he's such a great guy he took the fun out of <laughs> sports and they're like like heralding him as some great person because he was like this like very hard working like he's a he's a demon like he's kobe Bryant is a straight satanist just a moron like being um exalted for putting a ball in a hole who cares <laughs> you know like it's so stupid like like christ or any religious person would give anybody credit for that in any kind of spiritual way that's just stupid and then um, it's the same thing here. Like this, all this is is still the the fe capitalist side of dirt. The capitalist part is like just run around, move around, you know, and like that's the way it keeps the world, all that kind of stuff. He doesn't understand that the motions of this world are completely useless, you know. And this is again a flat earther who should understand that, in the very least, the entire education system is completely evil. Well, um, you know, your face is is everything. It's more important than the words that are coming out of your mouth. And, and those, those, the, the, the kids are missing the smiles from strangers from their parents. Babies are looking up at their parents and, you know, their brains are not growing properly because they're not seeing their parents' expressions for those moronic parents that are wearing masks when they're around their kids. It is, it... I don't know, they're not, they're not... <laughs> They're not moronic, um, it's required. And so you either die or you put on a mask. You know, that's the way the world is right now, whether you like it or not. And so, or you just argue and then get fined and go to jail. And so um, I don't see any of these people going to jail. And so they want other people beneath them. It's the same thing that, you know, the government's doing. They're telling everybody to wear a mask, but they don't wear one themselves. And so, you know, these people, we don't know, like, where they work and you know whether their career is in jeopardy posting this kind of stuff and then this is like fight music for the, their minions to go out and super chat them and you know have a cause i guess and then go out and get themselves in trouble you know but this this narrative can only come from the government you know this kind of um rhetoric and um i just want people to know that you know it's the same thing in christianity it's the same thing really anywhere um the government is giving us instructions as if we're part of the government you know and like we can just do whatever we want and you know that kind of thing and um you know most people don't have don't have jobs and you know if they you know start saying anything vocal about this kind of stuff they won't even be able to like get food much less like get a job and keep a job and all that kind of stuff um because the real issue here is money you know and so <clears throat> he'll address that 
um, point here in a stupid statement that he makes that I commented below. <laughs> and so I'm sure that I may actually be blocked from his channel. I don't know. Um, getting blocked from these people's channels a compliment, but I'm like, how is this bigger than the financial collapse, you moron? And so we'll see if that comment stays or he replies, but um, he makes a stupid statement like that coming up. And so that's the real issue is that they have us all in a financial corner, you know, whether you like it or not, they have him in a financial corner and he may not know it, that he has to, you know, spew this rhetoric. It's just nonsense. It's just absolute nonsense. Calling, you know, and, and right now at the 203 mark, he's got a, uh, a mom and a child wearing a mask and he just called them morons, you know? <laughs> so, um, I don't know. What's the alternative then? You know, what's the, you know, just go in and yell at people and then call the police and then get escorted out without your food. And he just posted a video recently, um, on a hangout talking to Jaron about how he went to a grocery store, claimed that he, whatever, had an exemption, yada, yada. They didn't let him check out, you know, his food and they just escorted him out. And so, um, how is <laughs> like, what's the solution then, <laughs> you know, for these people, just grow a little garden, you know, on your balcony and then eat, eat that, you know, feed, feed your kids with that. Really? That's the, that's the solution that these people have. These people are actors or Satanists. <clears throat> it is, this is the, this is more of a problem than the financial collapse and everything. This is a bigger problem. So this, <laughs> that's an incredible statement that this idiot is saying. This is a bigger problem than the financial collapse. How about this is a result of the financial collapse that's happened for since, you know, the dollar has been backed by absolutely nothing. And then useless corporations have been set up. And one of those useless corporations is our government, which these people ultimately work for because they're still pushing that, that narrative, you know, um, to take the government seriously. <clears throat> uh, we don't, uh, a small group of us, we want a new government. You know, and anybody who doesn't want that government, we want them destroyed. You know, that's that's the way it is in these days. And we don't care, <laughs> you know, um, none of none of this. I'm talking about the actual government and then these or the truth, the truth government. We don't care about any of these people, you know, like because they're just so stupid that and they're never going to change because this is just their script. But um, we just want all of it, you know, done away with. And I want people to know it's a majority of the world. It has to be because. Um, the truth community and this guy is a leader in it are just completely brain dead, you know, and they're totally evil. Um, <clears throat> it's a very, very different thing to say a person who's wearing a mask and like proud of it, you know, and just like, yeah, it's a real thing, you know, don't be selfish. That's a different kind of person than lots of people out there who know that this is stupid, but we just have no other option, you know? And then our days here are pretty much numbered because the next thing that's coming is the vaccine and none of us will, or, you know, that group will not, large group of people will not take that. And so, you know, I don't understand how he can call people like that morons. Um, there's, there are a group who are, for sure. I would never <clears throat> disagree with that. The people who are like sipping the government Kool-Aid and then spewing it out on other people, that we would always agree, those people are idiots. <clears throat> but there's a large, large group of people, and I think that number is growing every day, that are very, very aware of the fact that this is stupid and, you know, just a psyop or whatever you want to call it, but, um, you know, need to get groceries. <laughs> and so the guy just posted a video recently of how he wasn't able to get groceries. So why doesn't he tell us how he's getting groceries then? You know, is he sending somebody else? Or I have a feeling what these people are actually doing is they're wearing a mask, you know, to go and wherever they need to go to get things that they need. And so, um, right the hand, who's also uh, very likely on God's left hand side, talked about how he would send somebody else to go and do it. <laughs> and so that's what these people will do. I want people to know these people are th through and through, like they're just consistent with being on God's left hand side because they're just completely evil, you know? And, and their evil is showing by the stupid things that they say. <clears throat> that people haven't even recognized yet. David, I would like to remind you of what one of my favorite philosophers said once. His name is Roger Rabbit, and he said, a laugh can be a very powerful thing. Sometimes in life, it's the only weapon we have, and that goes for smiles as well. Just think of the energy they're sucking out of us, the, the brain processing. They're quoting like Roger Rabbit and all this kind of stuff when they're flat earthers. That's hilarious, man. Really? Especially in children, <laughs> um, the, the growth, there is stunted, brain growth because of facial masks. I mean, think about it. What do you do when you see a baby? What do you do? You make a face at it. You make a face. Well, minimally. Dude, our brain has been stunted with ball earth. <laughs>
our whole education system, everything that's going on in the world, working for a corporation, listening to these people on Hangouts stunts our growth because they're just stupid. They're just talking in circles. Jaron's proving the, the, the curve. Bob's proving the earth is moving and all these kind of actors. So I just want people to know that it's impossible to not notice a hypocrisy at this point, you know? And so we just call these people for what they are. Um, they're Satanists. Smile. Smile. And the babies make people happy. Like, oh, that's sweet. And, and now they're taking that away. And it is just as important for adults, too. I mean, imagine walking down the street and every single person, no mask, had a frown on. Had, had a straight face, right? It, it, your day would be screwed up. Right? It's those smiles that, that, that are connecting all of us and they're taking it away and people are allowed. This moron thinks that people beneath these masks are just, you know, teeth shining, you know, super happy, all that kind of stuff. You take the mask away, what are you gonna see? Happy faces, really? This is, this is like a flat earther thinks this. <laughs> this is painful. Um, it's painful how stupid the world is. You know, I, I know I'm not the only one who recognizes this. The truth community is completely brain dead. So if the truth community are stupid and evil and retarded, then what's the, what's the point of all this? You know, really, <laughs> like what, what, is, what is all this kind of thing? And so if God is not near, then um, this is just retarded, you know, just on every single level. So we'll see. Allowing this to happen and, and that is, that is, that is going to be the death of us all. So the last thing he says is I do not consent. And so their job again, it's the same as like Black Lives Matter. It's to take, it's to take the focus off of money, you know? And so it's make it a race thing. In this case, it's the mass thing and then all that kind of stuff. And then the vaccine and the mark of the beast and all that. It's um, the real issue here is the money and where it's going and then the corporations that it's set up. You know, that's the elephant in the room. And so people who don't acknowledge that at this point to me, I pretty much know that they're actors and they're on God's left hand side because it's just too obvious, you know, and it's just insane that a flat earther would make an absurd and ludicrous video like this, thinking that the mass will come off and everything will go back to normal. This is obviously God's way of narrating an, an economy that was set up to fail. You know, it's just obvious. I mean, look at the schools. You're, you're being, this guy's a flat earther again who's trying to sell the flat earth app. So for his sales to continue, he needs this system to continue, you know, and he doesn't need a unique solution because then his app sales will go away. And so they need to keep talking in circles. And so that's his job. And so he's on God's left-hand side because that's not the way God's right-hand side operates, you know, at all. And so just because we talk directly doesn't mean we're on God's right-hand side, but that's the beginning. And so we have hope, you know, in that, in that kind of thing. And so, um, you know, that's, uh, this whole system is just a mental cancer, you know, for sure. And so um, he's just profiting off of it. And so he's making everything into this mask thing when um, that's crazy, you know, that is like, it's just like a one grain of sand in the whole beach <laughs> is this mask thing of the evil that's on the earth right now. It's just very, very like literally cosmetic. And so from a spiritual perspective for the few people that actually care about God's opinion, and I know very few people um, do, um, this mass thing I'm being instructed is what God wants, you know, because a lot of us, we just have talked too much. And so he wants people to be shamed, you know, and again, only we decide at this point now how much we'll take, but that's the purpose of it, you know? And so it is a, like, you know, in, uh, if you ever watch Russian vids, they do this, you know, covering their, their mouth, um, God's left-hand side is like, you know, a hush kind of sign, like, you know, don't tell the truth or anything like that. It's that, but it's with a mask. And, you know, if you read Job um, 924, it says, you know, uh, I'll get that verse actually. Um, this is a good one that explains the mask thing and just the overall system. Uh, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, 
where and who is he, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So that's the narrative throughout the entire Bible. God made the earth, he gives it into somebody else's hands, but he made that hand himself and he made that hand wicked. And so God's doing all of this. And so, um, and then those hands um, decided in this case through God to cover the faces of the judges thereof. And so um, it's all in line with that, you know? And so it's a, the earth is in the hands of wicked people. And I want people to know it's the truth community as well. And so um, hopefully that's very, very obvious. But the spiritual reason for this mask happening to everybody is God genuinely wants people to shut up, you know. And um, I, I know that for a fact. And so uh, soon the Bible is not going to be taught at all. You know, if not, it's not really taught anywhere, at least that I've seen in any kind of serious way, um, except for my channel. And so it's it's not taught anywhere and so you know obviously people know it you know god giving them revelation directly but in no broad way in any kind of with a major platform and dearth you know has a has a pretty good following like 50 some thousand subs or anything nowhere near anything like that is the bible going out definitely not through the hebrews because they're a lot of them are ball earthers and so it, it it appears just by what's going on looking at what's going on in the world god wants truth just um, stunted, you know, completely. And he literally wants people to shut up, you know? And so, because the next thing that he's going to do through the two witnesses is a year, is a three and a half years of great tribulation. And so he's going to test the world with pain. And so there's a group of us who just don't want to go through that because we don't like what we see right now. <clears throat> and so that's what this mask thing represents for God's right hand side, you know? And so, um, again, a person has the right, if they want, to go and fight, but then there are, are potential consequences. And so I think everybody knows that I've posted enough videos, people know that um, there are fines, potentially imprisonment, all that kind of stuff. Or you can outsource it and send other people to go and do things for you and all that kind of stuff. Or if you have a way to, you have a supply chain where you don't have to rely on those things, that's great too. And so that's awesome. And so you know, that's uh, that's the situation we have. And so, you know, uh, people that don't like the fact that God shames people, he does, you know, and Jesus says this, that um, <clears throat> he tells somebody after he's healed them, like, don't sin anymore or else something worse will happen to you. And he's talking about in this life and potentially in the next one, but um, if there was one. And so, um, you know, there's uh, earthly consequences, you know, for all of us. And so I believe that you know, God dips us into this evil age and really every evil age in a very careful way and a very calculated way. Um, so I'm not saying take too much enslavement. I think it's pretty obvious that most people are running out of energy to, for this nonsense, even non-religious people. But that's uh, what I'm being instructed, you know, is what this is all about. And so, again, I'm not saying don't don't bend over backwards or do anything. I think we all know now that everybody's sinning. You know, even this person who's like on pretty likely on God's left-hand side, <clears throat> he knows that this is a satanic kind of thing. And so even people on God's left-hand side are complaining. And so that's why I pretty much know that this has to be over, you know, soon, um, or else definitely the God of the Bible does not exist. And so, um, you know, it's a very, very exciting time, but for this little bit of time where we do have to figure out a way to be here, required to do sinful things which has been the case for our whole life whether we knew it or not we have to figure out a way to tread lightly and then we have to ask god why you know and the one response i'm getting is that he wants that you know for sure there are times that i've spoken too much and this is the the balance this is the judgment you know and so again me personally i'm not going to put up with it for that much longer but um there's a spiritual reason for it you know god shames people you know and he prunes people and he wants people to you know, take a hint, you know, for sure. Um, that in the very least, hopefully, especially flat earthers should know this place is evil. It's not going to get better and they're not going to slow down. And this whole system is uh, explicitly trying to embarrass everybody, you know, like all the time, if you don't follow with its principles. And so that hopefully is obvious and it's not going to change because of their stupid videos or Mark Sargent or any of these other actors, Jaren, these morons, it's not going to change. <laughs> and so, you know, it's, uh, I do not consent. That's the last thing that he put on this video. Well, how do we know that? We don't know anything about his personal life. Where, do, where does he work? Like, 
what uh, career does he have? Do people at his work know that he does this and that kind of thing? He shows his face. So what, what do people in his job say, you know, when, or Karen B and Brian Stabley and all these people who claim to just be regular people who just stumbled across truth, how are they like able to keep their job, you know, and go to work and avoid COVID testing, avoid, you know, talking about it like it's real and all that kind of stuff and keeping their job. That's crazy. And so I hope it's obvious to people at this point, um, the truth community is run by the government, you know, and it, uh, it really, in a sense, has to be um, <clears throat> because God needs it to come out in a very, very structured way and um, in many ways to limit it, you know. And so for those who filled in the blanks with the Bible, which is brilliant um, and not really that hard, um, you know, we're on firm ground for sure. But it's just getting ridiculous. Like <laughs> if the truth community is possessing some amount of truth and they're completely brain dead and then the non-truth community are literally completely out of their mind like super excited for a vaccine the few people that are um and a lot large group will just take it because they just don't think that it, there's anything better out there for them um what's left you know <laughs> like when's the bible going to make a resurgence uh you know and like uh all that kind of stuff when even the truthers are just completely brain dead and so even like the Hebrews and all that, people deep into the Bible, they're out of their mind, you know, wearing masks, <laughs> talking about they're the two witnesses and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't know. To me, the more I see this kind of stuff, the more it puts the God of the Bible in a corner because the, the entire world is just completely brain dead. And it's just totally obvious. And um, by brain dead, I mean they're just talking in circles and everybody's just pushing their objective, their narrative. And it's not the Bible. You know, they're quoting like Disney characters and like Roger Rabbit and like just nonsense, you know, like without your smile, like, you know, you're you're just not, you know, human. And like, with you know, you got to be able to smile to be happy as if people take these masks off and like everything's super great. Um, this is getting ridiculous, you know, at this point. And so this is why I say confidently that, um, you know, the God of the Bible has to be close by uh, or he doesn't exist. Hope everyone's doing well. Bye.